Hey folks, today we're going to talk about an amazing file finding plugin called FZF. Um, it's backed by, it's basically a wrapper over a program called FZF, which is a fuzzy file finder, and we're going to be using it in Vim, and there is really nice support for wrapping in Vim. So let's get into it. Um, the first thing we do is we include it as part of our Vim config file. And I actually have the commands ready here, so we can just copy, paste. So the first part of this, the first plug actually pulls down the FZF binary and it actually installs it in your computer. And the second part is the actual Vim plugin. So if we source our Vim file and we do plug install, this will take care of installing Vim. And you can see that it's actually, there's a post update hook for install, but because actually the binary is already installed on my system, um, it's, it's, it's already, it's done. There's no issue there, actually. All right. Now that we have FZF installed, we can CD into a directory of a project that we are working on. We can start up Vim, and then we can use the files command to search through uh, the directory itself. So uh, if I type files here, it does a fuzzy search here, and it, you can see that the default configuration opens this sort of floating window, window, and there's a preview on the right side. I can go up or down using up or down arrows. I can do also use Control N and Control P to go up and down. The cool part about fuzzy searching is the the fact that it matches. So if I want to open, let's say, uh, let's say I want to open the skateboarder.h file, but I'm not on it yet, so I do. I can just do skb.h, right? Um, and you can see there's actually two skateboarder.h files inside this project. So you, you don't actually have to type in the full path because it does a fuzzy search based off of the type, based off of the characters that you enter. So I can open it, and it's nice. But typing in the files all the time is not really useful, so we can just use a simple mapping to bind it to a easily easy shortcut. Um, in our case, I like to, I prefer Control P because I used to use a plugin called Control P for this. So let's let's copy this and let's paste it down here. Save it. We source it, and we're back here again. So this time, if I hit Control P, it'll open up the FCF. Um, file finder and control C or escape or anything will get let you exit out of it. Now the cool part is you can use different there's different ways to open these files once you're in FCF so I can hit enter on a file and it does open it and I can also hit control T on a file to open it in a new tab and if I hit control V it opens it in a vertical split and finally, if I hit Control X, it'll open it in a horizontal split. Another cool thing we can do is we can open files followed by the exclamation mark um, to open FCF in a full screen window. And this is useful when our regular Control P is, seems too constrained for us. I obviously have the font zoomed in here, but you can see in, in a regular um, size window, it, it won't actually be that, uh, be that zoomed in. Anyways, FCF also allows you to uh, search over buffers. So let's say I have this file open. Let's say I have skateboarder.cpp run config. And if I search buffers, I can see all the previously open files that, that still exist, that they're still open as buffers in Vim. And it allows me to navigate through these. And this is a lot better than using the, the regular Vim B next or be prev to go around buffers. Buffers are a cool way to open files. I, I don't like to use tabs at all because I know that I have these files open as buffers and I can just use FCF to search through them. The FCF Vim GitHub page actually has a bunch of configuration options and you can it's really extensive and you can obviously read through those. One of the ones I'm going to touch on here is actually the ability to change the preview window. So right now it just uses a pop-up, but we can actually switch that to taking up the bottom half of the page, or bottom 40%, I guess. Um, let's copy this and paste it. Oops, let's paste it here. 
and we can source this. And now if we open Vim and launch uh, FCF, you'll see that it takes the bottom 40% of the page. And some people prefer this over the regular um, pop-up window. I do like the pop-up window though. Um, yep. For more configuration options, feel free to peruse through the GitHub page for FCF and give them a star as well. One final thing, um, the file I referenced for my to, for this video here, um, I'll have this uploaded to actually codevion.github.io and you'll see this is actually uses mdwiki which I talked about in a different video and you can click on the previous video about snake or fcf.vim where I'll have everything related to fcf the things that I talked about in the video that is thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe